Hi friends, I think most of you are lithium-ion battery users. They are now everywhere, in smartphones, players, laptops and even in electric cars. Lithium-ion batteries are now the most efficient type of batteries. They are compact, have high energy intensity, lack of parasitic memory effect, but have one significant drawback. The fact is that their operation and the process of charging should be carefully monitored. If the battery discharges below a certain limit, there is a high probability that it will fail. The same is in the case of overcharging. The voltage of a fully charged lithium-ion battery is 4.2 volts. Recharging can cause blistering and even explosion of the battery. Same will happen in the case of overload and short circuits, heating, the formation of gases and eventually explosion of the battery. Some lithium-ion batteries are equipped with a safety valve that will not allow the battery to explode but most of the powerful polymer batteries haven't such valves. It is clear that without an additional protection system, lithium-ion batteries must not be used. You have probably noticed small boards in mobile phone batteries. That's protection board. It protects from a deep discharge, from overcharging and from short circuits or overcurrent. On the board you can clearly see a couple of chips, resistors and capacitors. Small-sized printed circuit boards with thin tracks are very difficult to make at home. But this job can be entrusted to special factories for the manufacture of PCBs. One of the leaders in this area is GLC PCB. On the site you just need to download the archive of your board. If needed you can choose any additional options. And that's all. By the way, the price starts from $2 for 10 pieces. And there is a free delivery for the first order. The link to the GLC PCB will be found in the description. In front of you now is the circuit of this protection. The base is the microcircuit DW01. It monitors all processes. The second chip is an assembly of two field effect transistors. Let's look at the operation of the circuit. The first field effect transistor is responsible for the discharge. The second monitors the charge. Positive wire or plus is common. The control is done by minus or mass. The first transistor controls the discharge process. If the battery voltage is below the critical voltage, which is about 2.7 to 3 volts, the signal from DW01 chip closes the first transistor and shutting off the battery from the load. The question arises, how can I recharge the battery if the transistor is closed? The fact is that the DW01 chip is equipped with a system for detecting the charger and if a charger is connected to the input, the microchip will open the transistor. The second transistor responds for the battery's charge. If the battery voltage reaches 4.2 volts, it closes, thereby disconnecting the battery charger. How does short circuit and overload protection work? Lithium batteries, depending on their capacity, can be discharged with a certain current. For smartphone batteries, this current is about 1 ampere, a little more or less. The chip monitors the voltage drop across the transistors. As we know, inside structure of the transistors have a certain resistance. In other words, we have something like a current shunt or a current sensor. The greater the current, then the greater the voltage drop on transistor transitions. If it reaches a critical value of about 150 to 200 millivolts, the chip closes the transistors and disconnecting the battery from the load. The circuit is restored in less than a second after you remove the short circuit. Microchip tracks the voltage drop across the transistors through the second pin. I explained the principle of the simplest protection board for one unit of a lithium battery. There are more complicated circuits. For example, in laptops are smart chips that control each battery. There are also those which can control 10 to 12 cans at once and provide huge discharge currents up to 100 amperes and higher. In particular, such controllers are used for small solar power stations or electric transport. Depending on the battery capacity, these controllers can be radically different in appearance, short circuit current and circuit topology. But they always have the same function, to protect the battery from overcharging, deep discharge and overcurrent. Many controllers also provide thermal protection or protection against overheating of the can. The temperature is controlled by a temperature sensor. There are boards that are able to balance the voltage of the cans, thereby providing a uniform charge. Links to a variety of protection boards can be found in the description under the video. 
If the video was useful, please rate it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my group in Facebook. The link is under the description. Now I say goodbye until new meetings. With you was Akakasyan.